Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and I hope you all are doing well. Whenever I post a story on my Instagram, I get a lot of messages asking how I am and how my health is. It's so warm to see your messages but honestly, it's very difficult to reply to each one. So just thanking all of you to know about my health, how I'm feeling now and all that. Thanks to the Almighty, I am all good and doing well. In my previous video, you might have seen that my parents-in-law have come to Muscat to stay with us for a month and they are enjoying their time as much as we are with them. I had received a lot of goodies from my mom and aunts. They had asked me what I was craving for. I don't have many cravings as such, but there are certain sweets and snacks that I miss all the time, not just being pregnant. One such is the black halwa, which is my all-time favorite. There are only two types of halwas I like when in Kerala. That's the black one and the Tirunelveli halwa, which is a different type apart from the colored ones. So this time I asked to send the black one because I didn't have it for a long time. This is chakli or the murukku again sent by my aunt. It is homemade and Rihan loves it. A few of my husband's friends suggested this green halwa and it's a chilli halwa. You get the sweet taste first and slowly the chilli starts to kick in after a while. I am not a fan of this anyway, but some enjoy this taste. This is one bottle I ordered from Amazon. I am too lazy to drink water and at this point it's very important to keep myself hydrated. So to keep a track on how much water I drink, I bought this. I will link this in the description box. This is jackfruit and surprisingly, we get to eat it when it's not in season. Thankfully, we have it in our home in Callisto Villa. We already ate some. My mother-in-law prepares a delicious breakfast dish with it, which is my husband's favorite. Honestly, I didn't enjoy it as a breakfast the first time I had it. I liked it more like a kheer. But above all, I love to munch jackfruit as such. But I started loving this dish as I had it a few more times. Jackfruit season will be in April, May I guess. So you should try this one time. You will have to chop the jackfruit into small medium pieces and add that to a pressure cooker. Add some water and some salt. Now as this is a breakfast dish, you can do this preparation the previous night to save time like how I did here. Cook for 5 whistles on medium high flame. Now let me give you a glimpse of the simple skincare routine I do every morning these days. This is the face wash that my dermatologist had recommended after the acne treatment. I don't get this here in Muscat, so I bring it in bulk from India after vacation. 
and I have been following the facial icing for a long time now. This refreshes my face. Even this silicon icing thing was bought from Amazon. And the next is sunscreen. The only sunscreen that suits my face is Neutrogena. This is oil free so I am safe from acne. And that's it. That's a simple routine I have been following even before I was pregnant. Mm. Now this is all cooked. This is enough water but don't worry. We will add an ingredient to make it thick. This dish needs a lot of grated coconut that adds a good taste while having it. I shall put all the measurements in the description box. This is rice flour mixed with water. Now this is the thickening agent. Keep on medium flame and keep stirring. It will gradually thicken. <laughs> Meanwhile, heat a kadai to temper the dish. Use ghee to have the best taste. Fry shallots. I usually don't like the flavor of cardamom, nor do my family. But for this dish, a pinch or two of cardamom powder enhances the flavor and taste. Make sure you're stirring this in between. Today, preparing neer dosa. Now, this jackfruit dish tastes good, or I can say a bit better, with dosa. Neer dosa is again my husband's favorite and it's been a while since I prepared it because the tawa needed a seasoning first. Add the fried shallots along with the ghee into the jackfruit and mix well. This is done. This will get a little thicker as it sits for some time. So you don't have to worry about reducing too much of the water content in it. You may skip the sugar but add a bit for better taste. And this is done. I know my kids won't enjoy jackfruit dish if kept to school. So I had already prepared a simple cheesy pasta for them early in the morning which was hard to take a video because of the hurry berry. Mom knew that she would have enough time to rest here so she took her blouse materials so that it could be stitched from here on her free time.
When I was in college, most of my salwars were stitched by mom and she was an expert in that. But now due to age and not much time, mom does stitching very little. I did mention I have someone coming home for cooking so lunch and dinner will be ready by then. If you remember in my previous video I had prepared a fruit custard. On the same day I wanted to prepare another pudding recipe too but I was not in a position to stand for a long time in the kitchen and prepare so much. So I saved that to make it when parents come. Moreover the whipping cream and other ingredients might go bad after a few days so I thought why not make it as soon as possible and serve because I didn't make anything special for them on the day they arrived. I had bread that was bought a few days ago so wanted to make use of it too or else it will go bad. So instead of using it as such, I made french toast to add a layer of it to the pudding. Into a blender add 3 eggs. Then added 6 spoons of sugar. This is evaporated milk, again that was lying in my fridge. Instead of this, you can use plain milk. Evaporated milk has a much more thicker consistency than the normal milk, but lesser than condensed milk. Then add 1 teaspoon vanilla essence, blend for a few seconds. To save time, I use this big tawa on which I can place 4 or 5 at a time. Spread some butter, dip the bread slices in the egg mixture and shallow fry. Add more butter if needed. This is all done and let this cool down. Here I am using tin pineapple. I am saving the syrup because I will need it later for the pudding. If you are using fresh pineapple, cook the pineapple pieces in enough sugar syrup and save the sugar syrup. This is store bought marble cake. You can use any pound marble cake or 
chocolate cake. Slice and keep aside. Now this is cold whipping cream. I am not making stiff peaks here, I am blending on high speed for a few minutes. To this added 1 tin condensed milk. We do get thick cream here and I am adding 2 packs of it. Now if you don't have this, you can skip it and instead thicken the whipping cream till stiff peaks. The bread slices are completely cooled down. Slice each to four. I'm making it to two parts to add half as the first layer and the second half as the top layer. Pour the cream. Now do not pour it completely. Let the bread slices be covered with the cream, that's all. As the next layer, I use digestive biscuits. Dip each biscuit in the pineapple water and place on top. Now on top of this, layer the marble cake slices. Do not over stuff or overlap the biscuits or cakes. It should be a layer and not stacked. Sprinkle some of the pineapple pieces. Pour more of the cream on top. Now place the second half of the bread slices. Gently press to get it set. Pour more of the cream. Sprinkle the pineapple pieces. Had a few slices of the cake left so I crumbled it and sprinkled it on top. And that's all. Chill for at least 3 or 4 hours before serving. Had few leftovers of all, so made a pudding bowl with all of it. Now while I was preparing this, I got a call from my very dear friend Shebi, my classmate in Qatar, who is also in Musket with her family. She was coming home to meet her pregnant friend. So I was happy that I could serve her this pudding. She is not very comfortable on camera, so that's why no videos of her here. Later we had our lunch together. My husband doesn't always come home for lunch 
and again today he couldn't. So the rest of us had our lunch at around 1.30 p.m. Later after this, kids had their tuitions and coaching classes. I served parents the pudding evening time. These are the snacks that she bought, all homemade and very tasty. She even prepared a few frozen items which I will be frying another day. Along with that there were lots of fruits. I did have a snack and went for my regular walk. I had been really active till I knew I was pregnant. I used to work out every day actively and suddenly had to stop everything. This made me feel very confused about how I can be active again. Then all the nausea and tiredness came and I could only think of lying on the bed for months. And now happy to be back, being actively walking every day. Parents sleep very early and by the time I came back from walking, they had already slept after having dinner. Kids later wanted to have pudding and that's my dinner which is my favorite. I ate the leftover breakfast near dosa along with the fish curry from the clay pot. It's so flavorful to eat from the pot itself. And that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.